Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 2. This is Problem 2. It says, what is the solution of the equation 1 third x plus 2 thirds times in parentheses x plus 1 minus 1 half equals 4? Now, what is the solution? We have four options for that. Option A is 24, option B is 21 over 4, Option C is 23 over 6, and option D is 7. So one of these is the right answer. Let's figure out which one it is. So when you solve an equation, basically, you want to clear any parentheses that you have, get the x's together on one side, get the numbers together on the other side of the equals, and then if there's something in front of the x, you divide it out. So the very first thing I want to do is clear my parentheses. So this 1 third x can stay. Now, the next is plus, so now to clear my parentheses, the number in front of the parentheses will be multiplied times each item in the parentheses. So we'll start with 2 thirds times x. 2 thirds times x is 2 thirds x. And then 2 thirds times 1, that's 2 thirds. And now I've cleared the parentheses, so after the parentheses I have minus, I have 1 half, then equals, and 4. Now. My parentheses have been cleared out. What I want to do is x is on one side of the equals, numbers on the other side of the equals, and I'll have my x. So 1 third x plus 2 thirds x, that's going to give me x, and then I'll, I'll leave the other stuff. I'm going to have x plus 2 thirds minus 1 half equals 4. I put the x's together. If I just wrote x. Let's talk about that for a minute. 1 third x plus 2 thirds x, I just got x. Now, you might see that right away and be fine with it, but if you don't, what I'm doing, I'm adding the numbers in front of the x. One third plus two thirds. I have a common denominator of three. Combine the numerators, one plus two. So what I had was three thirds x. Three thirds reduces to one. So three thirds x is one x, and one x, you don't usually write the one in front. That's how I just came up with the x. Now, again, I'm not done yet. But I've simplified. I have x plus 2 thirds minus a half equals 4. Now, let's combine the negative 1 half and the positive 2 thirds here, get one number. Now, I need a common denominator. One has a denominator of 3, the other has a denominator of 2. I have to make them both the same. If 1 is a 3, 1 is a 2, a good common denominator will be 6. So, I'm going to leave the x. The 2 thirds, let me change that 2 thirds to a 4 over 6. That's still a 2 thirds if you reduce it, but in this form I have a 6 in the denominator. The minus 1 half, I'm going to rewrite that as 3 over 6. That is still 1 half. It reduces back to 1 half, but I've written it in a form where I have a matching denominator. I have common denominators now. The next I have equals, and then 4. Now. Now I can subtract these fractions because I have the same denominator. So the x in front will stay in front, plus 4 over 6 minus 3 over 6. I have 1 over 6, and that equals 4. Now, I want x equals, not x plus 1 over 6. So I need to get the 1 over 6 to come over to the right side of the equal. So basically, I'm subtracting 1 over 6 on each side of the equals. You can do anything you want when you have an equation as long as you do the same thing on both sides. So on both sides, I'm doing what I need to do to cancel the 1 over 6 on the left side of the equation and get the x by itself. So I have x equals 4 minus 1 over 6. So that's sort of the same situation going on. I'm subtracting two numbers. One is a fraction. I need to have a common denominator. The 4 doesn't even have a denominator. So let me just do this. x equals, let me write that 4 as 24 over 6. I want something over 6, the numerator would have to be 24. 24 over 6 will reduce back to 4. That's still a 4, it's just a funny looking 4. And I have minus 1 over 6. So now I have the same denominator. 24 over 6 minus 1 over 6, that will be 23 over 6. And on the other side of the equals I have x. So x equals 23 over 6. Now, if I look through my available options, option C is, in fact, 23 over 6. So, option C, 23 over 6, is the solution for problem 2.